Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to add some CSS animations to your website so we're going to do something very similar to what I have on my portfolio website this one in here telmosambai.com if I refresh the page look we have this kind of animation in here as you can see and then when we scroll down there is some more animations so this is what we're going to cover in this video is very very easy as you guys can see and yeah let's let's get started with this so for that i'm going to use this um, portfolio website that i i've built in some some of the previous videos and to start with this we are going to use this framework called animate.css so if you just type on google animate.css and you go to this page in here we have this this page in here where you can select for example flash you can see the animation in here pulse uh jello <laughs> there is many many animations so basically you can just like choose whatever animation you want to put on your website you can see in here animate so yeah okay so First of all, I want to add an animation in here on these um, on these two uh, paragraphs that we have in these titles. I mean, in these two titles. So I want to ha add um, bouncing in. I want to uh, fade fading interest. Maybe like this, fade in. Yeah. No, not fade in. Let's see what we have. Uh, slide sliding up sliding up no let's see sliding down yeah something like this sliding down maybe let's go to our page in here our index.html and first of all let's just like download this just press download and we have here the animate.css file so we need to add this to our project in here to our css let's I'm just going to copy it in there so we got our animate.css inside of our css folder that we just created in some of uh, the other videos like i showed you now let's go to our index.html and in here just under our uh, css that we put from before i'm going to put css which is the folder that we created and forward slash and i'm going to put animate dot uh, we have already dot css so right now we are just like linking this library that we just like have in here to our actual page so we have these and now i also need to create a javascript folder so i'm going to create something in here called js this is a folder where all of our javascript will be inside and i'm going to create a new file called um, main oh let me go inside of main dot uh, so js i'm going to put main dot js okay so in here first of all um ah right first of all let's add the jquery library to our um, to our page to do that you just go to google and you put jquery cdn Basically, jQuery, you can either install it, like physically you download the files, or you can just like use a CDN link. Um, so yeah, basically it's just gonna grab something from the internet and it's gonna be up all the time. So we're gonna grab this one, this link, the minified version, and we go here to our index.html and on the bottom, just after our footer, I'm gonna write a script. And I'm going to put the source is going to be this one. So this one like this, it we know that we have jQuery installed. Okay. If you guys want to like some kind of, you, you are not sure how to use jQuery or JavaScript. I have like a, a few tutorials back. If you look some of my previous videos, I have some, some videos like explaining. So right now I'm not going to go in like in too much detail. So right now in here, I'm going to do a, um, just to make sure that we have, um, that we have our jQuery working. I'm going to put a console dot log and I'm going to put 
it's working. So basically this console.log is going to show in here. Let's just uh, refresh the page. Let's press F12. Um, okay. Ah, right. So it's still not working because we didn't like link. We didn't link our file that we just created is main.js. So let's create a script again to link. And the source is going to be... Uh, JS, which is the name of the folder forward slash main.js. It's our file. Let's refresh the page again and it's working. So it means that our console.log that we put in here, it's working. Okay, so this is working now. Now let's put in here something that it's called document document dot ready function okay so basically this one in here what this piece of code in here does is we are using uh, we are using jquery at the moment and we are grabbing the document the page and it means that when it's ready when all the page has been um, loaded like all the images all the um, all the images all the html all the css when all the page is loaded we want to start our JavaScript. So this is very important, you know, make sure that all your page is loaded first, you know, because some people, they might have their internet connection a bit slower than others. So with this piece of code in here, this is basically what, what it does. It just waits for all the images to be loaded, all the HTML to be loaded, and then it will fire the, um, the JavaScript, the jQuery in this uh, case. Okay, so in here, I'm going to add, now to add these kind of um, animations, yeah, I'm going to select with jQuery, I'm going to select these two, so let's go in here. If you guys don't know how to open these developer tools, you just need to click like uh, right, right mouse click, right click and you go to inspect, or you can just press F12 on your keyboard and you, and you got these developer tools. So if we go in here with this arrow and we select this part in here, so I got this one in here with a class WP1, which I created before. So I put a class WP1 in here. And what I'm going to do is, so WP1, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put WP1, so WP1, and I'm going to put add class. And the class that I wanted to add now in here is to actually make this work, we need to add this class animated and we need to add the name of this class. So the class in here is slide in down. Let's put slide in down. Okay, let's save this and refresh the page and see if something is happening. Okay, so this is not working still. Let's see if we have everything right. So we got our animate.css in here. So this is working. And we got our main.js in here. Uh, and we got our jQuery. So um, let's see in here. Uh, slide in down. Maybe I, I want something different. Maybe fade in. Uh, so fade in up. Yeah, something like this is cool. Fade in up. So let's put in here fade in up. So fade in up. Let's see if this is working. Okay, so now as we can see, it's working. Look, fade in up. But if we want now, for example, you can see that this animation is being a little bit too fast. If we want to like um, put this animation a bit uh, longer, we can just go in here to our style.css and I'm just going to put this down here like uh, any animations so I'm going to put this to close 
okay and this class was the WP dash one I think and I'm gonna put animation um, I think is animation duration I think is this uh, let's put five seconds I'm not sure if, if this is the correct one let's see yeah look look how slow it is now Oh, I could put, for example, uh, three, three seconds. Let's refresh. Now it's three seconds. Uh, let's say 1.8 seconds. Let's refresh. Okay, so this, this looks good. So we have this, and we could put this one as well, just like this H1 after. So for that, uh, let's just like grab this. And I'm going to put the WP dash one plus H1. Let's see if this is working. I'm going to explain now in a second. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so we got them both working. I'm not sure if, let me just see, just in case, if this works better because it looks a bit sloppy in there. Uh, let's refresh. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, let me just take this out. Let's refresh. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Okay, so we added these. What I'm doing in here is selecting the WP1 class, which is this one in here. And then what's this plus doing is a CSS... Um, uh, selector, you know, is just targeting the next element next to it. And the next element next to it, the right next, is this one, the H1. So, and then I'm going to do add class in jQuery. And I need to add all the time this class animated. And then in here I can add um, the animation that I want that is in here. Okay, so this is working. But now I want, for example, this one this image in here to have one um, so for that so this image I put in here a class of WP2 as well on the container so this image let me say what what can I put in here so uh, bounce in uh, yeah we can just try this one this swing let's see let's see how does it look like so now I'm just gonna put this in here and I'm going to put this one. And this one is swing, if I remember. Let's refresh the page. Okay. But now, look, we, we didn't already reach this section in here when we refresh the page. Look. And it's already like doing the animation. And this is not what we want. I just want to this to animate when we are scrolling down and we are actually getting close to it, you know? So for that, what we can do is we can go to our to another website called uh, waypoint.js. And if I click it, this is the website, waypoint.js. And this website is going to help us like track where is our page like scrolling up and down so we can activate this kind of um, animations. So I'm going to download it. Just press download it. And then you're going to have this, this zip file. If you go inside, uh, probably it's going to be inside of this SRC. No, let's go up. Let's go to this library. And this is the one. Let's grab this one, jQuery.waypoints.min.js. So I'm going to put this in my JS folder. Let me just drag it over. So it's going to be this one. And now I need to link it in my... Um, I'm going to link it in here on my index file. So I'm going to put a script with the source of JS, which is the folder, and then the name. So the name, it is, the name it is jQuery.waypoints.min.js. So this is what I'm gonna put in here, .min.js. 
and now what we're going to do in here is I'm going to select this and I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this point. I'm going to select this and I'm going to put dot way points waypoint sorry and I'm going to do a function and in here I'm going to put this inside I'm just going to explain this in a second okay so now I've put this one inside and I'm going to put in here a comma and this one okay so i'm just going to explain this now so offset and i'm going to put uh, for example um 50 percent okay let's save this now and just refresh the page so now we see that this first part of the code is is running let me put a little bit slower because i think is is going too fast let me put this um 2.4 seconds just refresh this yeah it's a little bit better maybe maybe even three seconds so three seconds refresh uh so this is wp1 uh, I need I need to target the other one as well, so I'm gonna put this WP1 plus H1 because it's not getting targeted. Let's refresh. Okay, so now both they are a bit slower. That's good. And now look, when we are gonna scroll down, there you go. So you see now this this animation only happened when when we scroll down to a certain point and this certain point is in here so in here i'm just saying like i'm grabbing the element that i want for example this element in here that i put with a class of wp2 and i'm saying that inside i'm putting dot waypoint this is how these um this framework that we just downloaded the waypoints works and we do dot function and we we select what we want we want this one the w2 to have a uh, add class animated and then the class that we want so this is the swing and we just want it to work when there is an offset of 50 percent of the page you know for example in here you see the height of the page i just want this to hit when we are reaching in here like on half of the page so let's refresh the page. This one happens like straight away because we didn't put any any waypoints. But look, I'm just like, you see, it reaches in here like half of the page because I put in here 50 percent and it's going to start animating. So this is really how we wanted. So let's say that I put, for example, uh, 70 percent. So now it's going to be a bit earlier for sure. Oops, let's just refresh the page. Let's scroll down. Now it's already in here. You see, instead of being here on the middle of the page, because we put in here now 70%. So this is how it works. The first part of the code, you just have to copy this. You don't have like to deeply understand it. You just have to know that this part in here, the first one, is just like basically selecting where it's gonna is gonna be triggered you know so uh, so uh, we are selecting this one this element this is the point the point of the page where it's going to be triggered and then inside you're going to say okay which element are we adding the the class animated this class animated has to be like all the time and then the second class that we are putting is actually one of these classes that we are going to choose from here so um yeah if if uh, let, let's say that we want one more thing of this to um, to animate so these ones in here so they have skills so skills left i'm just gonna put all of these my skills 
So I'm just going to copy. It's going to be this exactly same thing. So I'm just going to paste this in here. And I'm going to target my skills. I think is yeah, my skills. And so I'm going to copy this again. And now the animation that I want to put in here is going to be a kind of fade in. So fade in up like this. Yeah. So fade in up. Fade in up. Okay. Let's refresh the page. How much I put? I put 70%. Let's put 50% again. Let's refresh the page. So this first part is already with some animation. Let's scroll down slowly. In here is already happening because we put 70%. Look, this is 70% from the top. 70%. And if we keep going down, 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 down. Ah, okay. So th this is happening a little bit um, wrong because this is already like displaying. We don't want that. I want my skills. I want my skills to to be with the opacity of zero. So basically, when we are getting in here in the beginning, is nothing in there, and then when we scroll down, it's gonna show up. That's why it's like a fade in because if it's already in there, it's not gonna fade in well. Okay, let me refresh the page. So this first part is working. Let's scroll down. This is happening. Actually, I'm going to put this a little bit. Um, where was it? Yeah, 40% because I think it's too early. 40%. So this is happening. And now let's scroll. It's going to just happen on 40%. There you go. 40%. And then we scroll down, down, down. Look, the opacity, the opacity is zero because we set it in our... Um, in our CSS in here, look, my skills is with the opacity zero. It means that we can't see it. And then when we're going to reach, what did we put in our 50%? So when we're going to reach this section, it's going to be in here on the middle of the page. Look, 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 look. There you go. 50% and this is fading in up because it was like hidden with opacity zero. And then we put fading up is going to show. So basically now you can just like do so many different things as you can see, and it's quite easy. So I hope you guys like this video. You know, this kind of animation before I knew it, I was all the time like a, a kind of a mystery. <gasps> How can I do this kind of thing or something? So as you can see, it's like really quite easy. If you have any question or you didn't understand this quite well, just let me know in the comments down below and yeah, I hope you guys I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video guys.